Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's AJ here from Piece It Together Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to route Get Good Drums inside of Cakewalk by Band Lab. So we're going to open up Cakewalk by Band Lab and get started. First thing you want to do, start with a nice basic template, nice blank canvas. <clears throat> get rid of those, and we're going to open up Contact. Now when you open up Contact and this window pops up, this is exactly what you're going to want to have selected. MIDI source, synth track folder, all synth audio output stereo, and enable MIDI output. Once all those are good, you're going to hit OK. Boom. 33 tracks, all of which we're not going to need, but we'll get back to that in a second. And when you open up Contact, you're going to go to this little icon here. You're going to want to make sure you have output selected so you can see your outputs. If you don't have enough, add more. Boom, you're good to go. I've got mine set up previously, so it's already ready to go, but you're probably going to have to add more inputs if it's your first time doing this. So, we're going to open up our Get Good Drums library. Today we're going to be using the P4 Matt Halper and Signature Pack. The latest library sounds awesome. Boom. And as you can see, we are getting sound, but it's all coming from right here in this first track. So, first thing I like to do is go to MIDI Omni, right here, hit the I, go to MIDI Omni. And you're going to want to go here, multi out advanced. Now, magic. Everything's routed right where it should be, everything's great, but there's still more to do. So, here comes the fun part, naming your tracks. Kick on the first track, overheads and room are 15 and 16. And then your last track is going to be your source track. Anything after the room besides your source track is useless. It's extra. And we do not need it. So we're going to get rid of those. Boom. Now, we're going to go here, insert a new stereo bus. And that is going to be our drum bus. Select all these beside your source track. Go to selected track outputs. Those are all going to go to your drum bus. And now the fun resumes where we name the rest of our tracks. Number two, snare top. Snare bottom on number three. And your overheads room 15 and 16 always double check pay attention to what you're doing save yourself a headache in the future rack time one number four rack time two number five floor 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 time one on six floor time Two on seven, and again, overhead room 15, 16. Over to your symbols. Hats on eight. Ride on nine. China on 10. Splash L on 11. Splash C on 12. Many hats, 13, and your stack on 14, and lastly, again, your overheads and room on 15 and 16. So now, everything's set, you're good to go. Everything is routed and awesome. But we can go even further, and we're going to. So say you wanna process these two tracks, your snare top and your snare bottom, as one. 
Best way to do that is go down here to your snare top. Get a new aux track. I like to put that above kind of what's going on. And that's going to be your stare, snare aux. And you're going to want to make sure your snare aux is routed to your drum bus. Then you write your snare bottom to your snare aux. And now you can process them individually as well as together as one. And we're going to do the same thing with our toms. So, new aux track. It's going to be our tom aux. And make sure that tom aux is running to your drum bus. And then we're going to route the rest of our toms to our tom aux. Boom. And we are in business. Everything's routed, ready to go, sounding awesome. But one more thing I do want to go over is the source track and why it's important, why you do not delete it. And that's because that is where your MIDI information is going to be. That is where it's going to go. So if you wanted to use your grooves and... you're going to drop them to that track. Or if you want to program your own grooves, that is where the information goes. And you're ready to rock. That's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. And there you have it. That's how to route Get Good Drums inside of Cakewalk by Band Lab. I'm AJ at Pieces Together Studios. Y'all have a great one. Peace out. <laughs>